Right, well I think the plan is that I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on this canvas a bit and then I'm going to go over to the other canvas I'm going to put some uh, some orange marks onto that one um, and, I, and I think I'll then move back onto this one and we'll see what we can uh, let's get two canvases completed and covered and I'm ready. Let's see how it see how it all looks. And I think what's nice about this one is it's in the shade as well. So this one's in the in the shade. I don't know what I've seen then. Which uh, gives me uh, some added interest in the painting, and because it looks it's going to look different in the studio when it's finished. It's going to look different, you know, wherever I am. But the outdoor environment is, is perfect for me, I think. As long as it's up a hill and out of the way and, and stuff. Using the same brush. Um, I think it's nice to work on oil paint that's starting to dry. That's a, a nice, uh, a nice interesting thing to, to look at. Again, that kind of sense of oh, we're getting close to the to the bottom of the bottom of the uh, where the land is. But let not don't let that be a don't let that be a problem. Painting with less curves, I know that. Back to canvas number two. And the oil, the oil paint feels different outside. I think the air must react to it. It's got a, it's got a thicker, a thicker consistency. As far as I'm aware, it's harder to apply. 